Hello everybody, Dead Man's Macaroni here. Get your macaroni ready because this is part 30 of Fallout Shelter. Now it's been quite a while since I've done an episode on this, and I'm sorry for that. I honestly have no excuses for it, other than I just didn't really feel like playing the game because I don't really know why, I just kind of got bored of it. And, uh... But then I started playing it, I, I played it again last night, because it had been a while, I figured time to check on the vault, and I kind of got back into it, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna get the LP going again. So today's mission is to bring in all of those people waiting outside of the vault, and then, um, build a couple more living quarters. Uh... So yeah, let's start by, actually let's start by seeing if we can't upgrade some of our previous living quarters. We can upgrade these. Let's upgrade it a few times in that case. Alright. Well that gained us some space. Um, is it enough space? I'm not sure. Let's just upgrade maybe like one more just to just to get I mean we may as well upgrade them or else we're not really getting our full value out of them, right? There we go. You know there's really no point if you're not gonna upgrade your rooms. We should go through the whole vault at some point and upgrade all the rooms. That would just make a lot of sense. Alright, let's start bringing these people in. Actually, um, let's recall this guy. Wait, there's a second person out here? Oh. Well, yeah, you come in then. In that cave. A hardened flamer. A baseball uniform. A scoped institute pistol. An armor piercing BB gun. Thanks for that. Alright. Cool. Um. Oh, she's gonna come in. <clears throat> Hopefully we don't get a death call attack on every single person that we let in. <laughs> Normally I don't, but sometimes, sometimes you get it. Sometimes it just don't stop coming. At least it seems like it. Yeah, it is a pretty great day. I mean, I did <clears throat> just wake up about an hour ago, but... So far... <coughs> Hmm. Something in my throat or something. Alright. We are running a bit low on food, so I was thinking that would be the next focus. Is to look at, uh, food. Maybe, probably even upgrade some of the food buildings would be smart. Um... Let's actually do that right now. Whoa, that's a bit pricey. Eh. That is definitely a bit pricey. Oh, that's a power production. Good thing we didn't do that. I mean, I guess it would have been beneficial either way. Um. Okay, let's do this one. It's the one of the bigger ones. And it just makes more sense to me to do the bigger ones. Oh, that's still very pricey. Uh, let's do it anyway. Screw it. We'll make back the caps. Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be alright. Alright, let's bring in another person. You, friend. Where do you... Where shall you work, I wonder? You are seeming quite useless. I guess you can work down there. I guess that would be okay. Gotta look for the mysterious stranger. Probably not gonna find him. But we can try. Nope, we didn't find him. Well, whatever. Sometimes it gives you like some serious caps, but then half the time when you find him, it's only like a couple hundred caps, which is still decent. It's just not as good as it could be, you know? 
honestly, I, sometimes I think that just going around the vault and looking for people that are, like, leveled up is some of the best way, or is, like, one of the best ways to gain caps. Of course, other than sending people out in the wasteland. Legendary weapon recipe. Ooh. Speaking of that, we, sh we could get a weapon going. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. First of all, let's unlock all of these. Alright. We could make uh, the hardened flamer. Let's go ahead and do that. Because that'll be pretty good. It's got some serious power on it. Uh, I guess let's bring in another person. Seriously, can you stop going to him? Come on now. I know Joe, it's Johansson, but... Seriously. I don't need to know that every single time, game. Alright, you can go work there. Uh, let's put these people... Let's give them weapons, and then let's give them proper outfits. Um, let's go for a lab coat and a... A BB gun. Yes. Totally. Not gonna happen. Let's saw it off. Alrighty then. And actually, now that I think about it, we should go through and sell some of our, our like, crappy guns because we just brought in a new, pretty much a new shipment of weapons. And, um, normally with that comes some garbage weapons that you can just pretty much trash. So... There's that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, actually, let's open up a few lunch boxes now because we've got a few spots in the line opened up. So we may as well. Hunting rifle, thanks for that. Food, that'll be useful, I guess. A microscope, why not? Some caps, always good. And Philip Thompson. Welcome, friend. Alright. Initiate robes. Oh, a bunch of caps. That'll be helpful. Some power. A globe. And Juan Davidson. Who happens to look like a serial killer. But don't mind that. Oh. There are too many dollars waiting in line. Well, fine then. We should probably bring some of them in. And I'm pretty sure that the mysterious stranger just showed up, so I'm gonna look for him real quick. Oh, yep, there he is. 865 caps. That was one of those times where it is well worth looking for him. It's always well worth looking for him, actually. Okay, who did I just move? You are going back outside now. I need people outside scavenging for junk at every corner. I should get stats up, but at this point it's not going to help. So, Because I have a friend who plays the game as well. And apparently like, he kind of filled me in on how all that stuff works a bit better. And apparently it's a... Uh, they grow as they level up, like, in terms of, like, they gain more each level based off of their stats or something like that. So, there's that. So pretty much our two wasteland explorers aren't never going to get much better than they are. Regardless of if we were to upgrade them. If that's not true, let me know, because maybe there is, like, some type of advantage that you gain from doing that, regardless. Like, maybe they actually gain something, regardless. But, you know. I mean, either way, we would get caps each time they leveled up one of their stats, but it's hardly enough to be worth it. Wait, did I... I think I gave... Oh, no. She's just not supposed to be in there. Well, whatever. Fine then, game. Fine then. Be like that. Surprised we haven't gotten attacked yet. 
All right, let's bring in this person. Looks like they'd be pretty good at a strength room. Um, we could just build them a new strength room. You know what? You want to work in the weapon workshop? Sure, why not? Or it's called the weapon plant, I guess. Apparently, thought that's what it said. All right, you. Oh, that's already. All right, let's. Uh... Attention, do you want to evict the dweller? No, I do not. I'm trying to exit out of it, but now I know which one is the button for evicting, right? What are up with those white lines? I never noticed those before. Are those just glitches? They must be. That's kind of weird. But whatever. I'm not super worried about it. Let's bring in another person, I guess. Keep on bringing them in. Alright. Person, where shall you be? Uh... Do you want to be a wasteland explorer? Alright, I am probably... I suppose I have room for another one of those. But that means you're going to be training. And training. And training. Until all of your stats are maxed out. And then... You can maybe become a wasteland explorer. Yeah. That's how strict I'm making it now. Only the best of the best become the Wasteland Explorers. Oh, come on. I was hitting... Good. I was going to say, if that didn't give that to me, I was going to be kind of pissed. Because I hit him about 15 times there. Huh. That was kind of loud. Shouldn't have done that. Um. I wonder how people, like, how do they... How do they, like, suppose that certain people, like, minus, like, take stuff, stats away from rooms? That doesn't really make much sense to me. Wanna work down there? Sure, why not? Alright, and with that, we can now open up all the rest of our lunch boxes. I know what this feels like. It feels like one step forward, two steps backwards, but in reality... We're getting rid of some lunch boxes, which we need to be doing anyway. They should have been done a long time ago, and I know that. Right away. 32 pistol, thanks for that. Caps. Oh, and 500 cap. Well, that didn't come with a person, but regardless, I'll take it. Some more caps. Yao Guai hide. Nice. A stim pack. Tuned plasma pistol, that'll probably be good. And some caps. Alright, let's go ahead and open this last one. I guess we didn't need to clear some spots in the line, huh? So your outfit, right away. Alarm clock. Caps. And more caps, huh? Was that just a coincidence? Must have been. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm going to clear out all of these things that need to be tapped on, and then I'm going to go back, and we're going to uh, sell some of this crap. Alright, so anything for below can be trashed. Eh, we'll sell that, because I'm not going to need it. Sell all. Sell all. Yeah, rusty BB gun. Yeah, I totally need a rusty BB gun. And sell those as well. Sell those. Let's sell this rusty gauze rifle. No. No, it's not gonna happen. Game. I mean, this is a decent way to make some caps, I guess. 
All right. Outfits. Um, I usually have kind of a hard time deciding which outfits to sell. Just because. I guess the Merc gear isn't really all that great. So we can probably sell that. Country Girl is pretty good. Plus four strength. Um... Four fan outfit, battle armor. Well, whatever. I think we're I think we're good on selling stuff. Mysterious stranger did appear, but I don't think we're gonna find him. Mysterious stranger, where are you? Eh. Yeah, we didn't find him. Well, whatever, game. Whatever you say. Um. I would love to keep on bringing people in, but I think we've reached a decent, um, a decent video length here. Uh, there's something we can do. We can clear out these next, this next row of rocks. That's what we can do. There we go. Not too pricey. Not too pricey at all. Actually, let's just clear out this row as well, then we don't have to worry about it for a while. There we go. Alright. So in the next episode, we'll go ahead and finish bringing these people in, and, um, actually, here, let's do this as well. Let's get these babies born that have been sitting here for quite a long while. That's a bit, it's a bit messed up to think about, so let's not think about it, actually. Uh, don't try to put logic into games. It doesn't make much sense. <laughs> okay. Wait, where was this person? Hope it was right, or I hope they were right there. Um, yeah, I will see you guys next time for part 31 of Fallout Shelter. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys then.